Yo, 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 welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. For all those who've been here for a long time, thank you, welcome back. I feel like I've been away for a minute, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. I'm not gonna waffle too much like I usually do. Today, I'm gonna be unboxing and looking at the new LD Waffle Sakai Clock Collaboration, The Cool Greys. Let's go. So like I was saying, I feel like I've been away for a minute and I apologise. I think I've got, a, a, this, this is a nice kick, you know, um, like I said, I'm not going to waffle, but obviously if you're new to the channel, my name's Patrick T. I do reviews on all types of kicks from ones you can just collect and some little hype ones when I can get my hands on them. Because like everyone else, I take L's. I'm not going to lie, I take L's. So... If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I've uploaded new videos. And if this video gives you contents, just smash the like button. It really helps. All those who have been with me before, again, I apologize. I feel like, like I said, I've been away for a minute, but this one I think is a good one. So let's just get straight into this. We have not the traditional night box, but we have a, the night color, which is kind of like an orange, like reddish orange color with a little patent Nike branding on the top with a swoosh there. Nike gone back to the old branding, as you can see there, and on both sides there. And you've got a pool drawer this time, like what you get with some collabs, just call it, yeah, collabs. So you've got a little Nike brand at the top there. And the details, as you can see there, this is my size, but it's my collection. I hit on sneakers, can you believe that? Oh yeah. I'm happy, man. <laughs> I usually take L's in there. Sneakers does not love me. But Nike, if you're watching, sort it out, man. Just help a brother out in it. But anyway, so the details on it says Nike LD Waffle S C N N S Cool Grey Obsidian. Inside the box, you've got the paper, which has got Nike Saki on it. It doesn't say clock. Oh, there's a massive clock symbol there just on the side but the writing says Nike Saki and then you've got the clock symbol there one thing you'll notice when you get this I'm gonna, not going to try and move this too much because it makes a lot of noise but the trainers themselves are wrapped up individually in their own tissue paper which is a touch you know so here we have them um, we have the Nike I keep saying the name is the LD Waffles but Saki and Clock collab bubblegum remix so it's the old Nike LDVs mixed with the Nike waffles, with the Clot Street branding, Touch Panache, and the usual sack, Saki double, double edging on things like that. You get a pair of light blue laces with them. I think these will look better than the gray and beige laces what are on there. But those come with that on there. Let's put this one down and do another thing. Now I'm gonna to say to you, the first thing what hits you when you open this box is that new trainer smell oh my god it's so nice i'm not gonna lie it's it's just one of the best smells in the world <laughs> for those who know no for those who don't know get to know because you would definitely definitely fall in love with that smell but that's just my impression when you open a box let's do what we normally do let's start with the sole so you've got the traditional waffle sole here with the waffle type dimples oh, sorry people my cat I don't know if I can cut this out. Move. <laughs> You've got the traditional waffle sole with the um, waffle square dimples. In the middle of it, it says US patent number, the numbers, and then another numbers underneath that. I'm not sure if that's in the old waffles, but it's definitely on this one. That is a gum color sole, and it travels just up to the toe box where you can see there and overlays. Again, it dips under like the old waffles there. But because this is a remix, obviously you've got the double, double midsoles. So you've got the old traditional dark blue midsole underneath. And then on top of that, you've got a double midsole, which is a beige type color. Now, what is not clear from the pictures when I used, when I saw them is that the actual midsole itself is speckled with white specks. I was quite taken back by it. I was, I honestly thought they were going to be white, but they're not, it's a beige color. So I was a bit, mm, not, not upset, but it just wasn't what I expected. So 
if you do order these just know that there's a beige midsole which hyper extends around the back as you can see like that and there's speckles of white paint on them as well okay if we go to the upper now most of this is a fused upper most of the the swoosh is fused the overlays are fused there are few stitches but it's very minimal stitches on this so the top is a kind of translucent mesh okay and then fused on top of that you've got a gray mud guard there which travels around the toe box and then top of that is another fused overlay but this time it's in that beige color again just like the second midsole here on the outside of the shoe you've got two swashes which are fused on you've got a dark blue and then underneath that is a light blue the same color as the laces which i just showed you and then at the heel you've got a extended fuse part in again beige the same color as the midsole but then on the back of the heel is a leather stitched on piece of material well heel guard basically which you know stiffens up the shoe at the back on top of that is another piece of leather just where your Achilles is and you've got the Nike branding in green with Sakai and the clot little stamp there so you know it's a triple collaboration the inside of the shoe is exactly the same you've got the blue fused tick and underneath that you've got the light blue fused ticks the eyelets again just underneath that is a line of blue just as like the blue tick fused then on top of that is the fused gray rubber and the, you've got the double laces because that's what sakai or clot do they do the, they double up that's what makes them unique when it comes to branding with nike you've got the beige and gray laces there and you've got a double tongue the first tongue is gray and it's got the nike branding in black with an orange swoosh and it says sportswear then underneath that you've got a green tongue now there's no other green on this there's just a green tongue here with again the night branding but this time it's got the sakai and the clock branding on top there the first tongue is an open and it's, it's an unfinished tongue so you can see the sponge in the tongue i should also say that the branding is on a um light blue cloth material just the same color blue as the swoosh tick and a little bit of blue just there were going to be no on feet showing these i'm sorry i was trying to put these on but with these double laces undoing these shoes is a nightmare i'm not going to lie to you you've got a pull and then you're pulling one lace will come out and the other one hasn't moved you know and it just took ages and by the time i did put my feet in them i was not in the mood to show you um some shots on 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 feet so i do apologize but what i will say they are true to size there's no need to go up a size down a size half a size whatever it is if you buy nike whatever size you buy nike in these should fit you so don't worry about that comfort wise they're really nice actually you can feel the little bounce in them the double midsole doesn't really make a difference not like say like an air max 90 or a vapor max something like that it's just a nice comfortable fit your, your heel does lock into the back on the inside of the shoe you've got a, like a, a webbing type material in again in a beige color it's quite padded so i did feel quite secure in there especially when you've got the laces up you're going to struggle like i said to you making these comfortable i might just rip these out and put in this the light blue laces where they're there rather than having double laces but then I know people know what they are, but you want to keep it traditional and go with the double laces, don't you? You know what I might do? I might just drip it out and keep the beige and the blue. I don't know. Let, let, give me your comments below. Let me let, let me know what you think I should do. So that's it. The only other green you've got, if you look inside, I can't take the inside insole out. But again, you've got the Nike Saki and Klopp branding, as you can see there. And the traditional, you know, labels inside, just at the heel, nothing to really nothing more to home, nothing more to write home about okay like i did say to the upper mesh is a see-through mesh i don't think your feet are going to get wet they must have done something to stop the rain getting in if you do if it does rain and you've got these on but you're definitely going to be able to breathe in these so there should be no issues really with wearing these my 
I don't do ratings. I'm just going to say I like this. I, I do like them. If you've had waffles before, Nike released a whole bunch of waffles this year. You could not Nike buy you them, all different colours and things like that. So if you've had those, you're definitely going to like this. I like the colour. This retailed at £145. I could be wrong there. If I've got it wrong, I put the right price up there. So it's around about £140, £150. I've seen them going when they did release for about 155 sometimes even 170 but I know the resale on these is not too high at all so if you're still looking to get these and pay a little bit more I don't think you'll pay any more than 50 pounds above retail if I'm honest with you you can still get hold of them and I don't think you'll be disappointed at all so there we have it the LD Waffle Cool Grey Sakai Clot collaboration with Nike I've got that all the way around I think it's LD Waffle or Nike LD Waffle Sakai Clot Cool Grays. Let me know what you think. Peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.